Welcome to SaaS and Excel Transactions Product Overview. In this video, we will demo the import feature of the app and the steps involved in uploading a file in a detailed manner. To start, we have a custom file with some invoice transaction details that are to be uploaded to QBO. Now let's click the Upload File menu from the left navigation bar and upload the file in Step 1 of the import. If you don't have a custom file and would like to have a sample template to reorganize your local data, you can download the sample template by clicking the Download button from the Help section available next to the File Upload section. Downloaded file has a sample template for all transactional and list entities of QBO. Now let's upload our file in the File Upload section and click Continue button. The uploaded file will now be parsed and will list all the available sheets in Step 2 of the import. Let's click the sheet name to be uploaded and move to the next section, wherein the corresponding QBO entity needs to be selected. SAS and Excel Transaction supports almost all QBO transaction types and list entities, enabling you to convert your file data to corresponding QBO records. Let's select the QBO entity and click Continue to proceed to Step 3 of Import to the Mapping screen. Often, Step 3 is challenging for most users. And let's talk in detail about the various features available in this screen. The uploaded file headers will be listed on the left side and all the possible QBO headers as a drop-down component on the right side of the mapping screen. Select the appropriate QBO field corresponding to the file header. Any confusion about the QBO field names can be clarified by clicking the question mark icon next to the drop-down. After mapping each file header to the QBO field, click the Preview Mapping button. This will visually place each file header name next to the appropriate section in the corresponding QBO screen. This will ensure that the file headers are mapped to the correct QBO field. Once the mapping is complete, you can save the mapping so that all these steps don't have to be repeated during the next file upload. Also, the mapping can be shared with other company users to avoid repetition for other users of the same company. Now let's click Continue to move to the step 4 the final section of import. This screen has the grid section that displays the file data in a grid format. Also, the settings associated with the import can be viewed by clicking the Settings button. In order to ensure that the mapping in Step 3 is done thoroughly, click the More button and select Preview option. This will check if the data in the file is associated with the right QBO field. Click the Settings button and verify if the import settings is appropriate for the file data. Import setting has various section tailored to ease the file import process to QBO.
Now click the Upload button to import the file data to your QBO. This will take you to the Progress screen, indicating the progress of the import. Post-completion, click the Show Results button to display the import result of the uploaded data. When the import is successful, it will list the QBO response ID corresponding to each row. Clicking the response ID would navigate to your QBO screen, displaying the imported transaction. Users can also click the Download Report option in the More button to download and archive the uploaded results. Thanks for watching this video. For more product information, please visit support.sasant.com.